Good morning. I believe that is the looks and sounds of a tow truck that is here to pick this thing up and take it to the shop to get tuned. So if you guys missed the last video, in the last video what we did was added some bolt-ons, intake manifolds, intakes, and throttle body spacers all onto the car. However, the car is on a stock ECU, and the stock ECU is very precise. So since we basically modified the car, and it's now taking in more air than it's used to, the car basically went into limp mode, and it's completely undrivable. I could try and see if I could barely get this thing out of the garage just to mount up to the tow truck, but other than that, it's definitely not safe for roads. So what we're doing is we're towing it to uh, Intech Racing, they're gonna basically take care of the rest. They're basically gonna give it a tune so that it now can run properly with the bolt-ons. And we're also gonna be doing some even quicker and spicier and better sounding goodies to the car as well. Oh, whoa, how are you? Good. Nice ride, right, man. Thank you. What's yeah, cool? so we're working with this car here. What's going on with it? So it's stuck in limp mode, so I can start it up and see if I can at least get it out to where it's right behind the tow truck. Okay. Um, but it's basically just idling really weird, so. Okay. <laughs> I think we're chilling. Yeah, definitely front bumper need to come off, that's for sure. It's just gonna be that diffuser now. That's really the only thing. All right, there she goes. They really do got the video game car on the flatbed though. So viewers, hear me out, all right? So we have the triple Nissan collection, but the Focus is out of place. So what if we replace the Focus and have the new daily be the Murano Cabriolet? So we've made it. Shop's right in there. Got the car getting unloaded now. Here is the additional setup that we're gonna be plopping onto the car while it's here. We got a new Motordyne Y-pipe, we got a new Z1 exhaust, and then we have the best possible headers that you could put on any Z. I'm very fortunate to be able to have these. These things are gonna be wild. They're long tube headers, and it's just the extra length to make the Z sound and perform even better. So the Forza Z is now dropped off at the shop. They're gonna take care of it. For simple stuff like the intake manifold and intakes, we can obviously try and do ourselves in my garage, but since they're gonna be doing headers, which is one of the most difficult things to install on a 350Z because you have to get way up in there and there's two of them that protrude out from the V6 engine. We need a professional on the job with a lift, so that's why it's dropped off there and they're gonna take care of that for us. So we're basically gonna resume, see how progress is done, and we're gonna get this car souped up and tuned. Eleven twenty one PM baby. It literally says every day open I hope though. Bro, I'm just feeling breakfasty. <laughs> you know what I mean? At eleven twenty two PM. I'm really breakfasty right now. <laughs> oh Denny's is definitely closed. I could just go for a French toast and a little bit of bacon. <laughs> Eat that shit up. <laughs> you gotta open up them cheeks like <laughs> <laughs> Please don't ever do that again. <laughs> call the IHOP again. I'm gonna call him. What the fuck is up, Dennis? <laughs> well, they may not pick up, but it says they're open. It says they're open. Should we just pop in? Look, Kawhi Kid, 13 coins is sounding more enticing by the minute. <laughs> Bro, 13 coins got shut down because of the health department. Who? <laughs> They got my boy 13 coins! Oh, it says on Google that IHOP is closed. Yeah. What? Uh, oh, wait, no. Oh! Stop. <laughs> the one. The oh, the one in Bellevue is open. That's right, that one is always open. Oh, wait, let me call. Let me call. Oh. Alright, call him. Call him, Bellevue. Oh, oh. I think it's not Bellevue. IHOP. Hi, I was wondering if you guys were open tonight. Oh, sweet. All night? Yeah, 100%. Alright, perfect. Thank you. Bye. Word, I guess we're going to IHOP in Bellevue. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, looks like you're getting your French toast. It may not be 13 coins, $38 French toast, but it's. Smack a bitch if I didn't get French toast. We made it to the IHOP. They are open. Do we want to start any appetizers? Just let you know we are out of chicken strips. I'm sorry, we don't need to fight again. Mm. But if you want like a side of fries or mozzarella sticks, onions. Nah, I'll probably wait. Yeah. Probably go with the entree, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The eyes on the prize. Beast though! This is the Finally. Oh my god. Where the heck you been? It's good, bro. Talk to Kitty. <laughs> it's funny actually because my friend Larry, <laughs> he's the waiter here. <laughs> Larry? Yeah. Like straight up. It's like we went, we were on the swim team together back in high school. You swim? <laughs> I know. It's hard to believe, right? But it's true. Oh, they're out of chicken. He doesn't like that joke. <laughs> had a chicken, though. That was the chicken. Austin's like, alright, I'm back out. What about the toast of the French variety? How much, how much <laughs> Yo, what about the fries of the French variety? <laughs> no! True, actually? Bro, why is it that now that I know that I can't have chicken, every want dish chicken? I want is chicken? Yeah, you have to get chicken in wing on. form These now. People, <laughs> chicken wing form. <laughs> they don't have wings, though. Chicken wing fingers. <laughs> I got you a water. I'm gonna box chicken up for you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have we decided on food or another moment? Everybody else go and then I'll figure it out. We'll start with you first. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Six, 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 Bro, do you know how to make a paper airplane? So basically, yeah, so you're gonna wanna go like this, okay? So this is this is basically the general structure of a paper airplane. Okay. And then you're gonna wanna go like this. Dudes get VSKFs okay. and so act like So Basically. Scientists. <laughs> you come in here, like this. Smell it, smell it, because if it smells good, it has better aerodynamics, everybody knows that. Okay, full. Oh Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> that's not gonna be distance. I think that's more for height. Yo, How do you Kawhi make... Kid over here Kawhi has a better kid. idea. Oh, Kawhi Kid, he does <laughs> have a the better... It's a little more streamlined. It's a little more streamlined, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is just a big... Clunky boy. Yeah. That's a SR-71 Blackbird. This is an SR-71 right here, for real. <laughs> That's what's gonna get me VSKS. <laughs> Alright, so basically... From behind this line. Oh, behind this line? Mm -hmm. Dang. Are you taking it easy on me? <laughs> I took you to dinner, so... True. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did anyone else feel that, like, costume <laughs> came... Hey, can you keep that door shut, please? Thank you. <laughs> No, yeah, definitely. There's something weird going on. You felt that? Right? I did, I did. Yeah, see, that's, yeah. God. See, it's like the hand on the chest. <laughs> the hand on the chest. <laughs> no shot, bro. No shot, it might come back to get you. That is true. I might get hit in the eye of the SR-71 Blackbird. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yo, the distance? Points for distance? Honestly? Accuracy? Honestly? Do you wanna, do you wanna so have close. a shot with my pristine aircraft? Oh, me? Yeah, go should for I, it. Should I do like behind the back? However or you like want. Over the shoulder? Or just do the classic, just head float? Oh! oh. Why, Why thank you so much. So here's my prize for winning the paper airplane door contest. Pulling up back at the shop. We got the Z somewhere in there. It's about to get a whole lot louder here. <laughs> Do you think Lawrence just wakes up and just like, oh, I just gotta tune another Z today. <laughs> that is the sound of my Z with a uh, new headers and exhaust setup. So, she's in there getting tuned right now. I'm honestly kind of curious what numbers it's gonna put on the dyno. I feel bad for this place because it's about to get really loud with the freaking VQ trombone. have the front bumper because we have to get it on the tow truck and it's Holy shit. dude I mean it's got some nice pops and crackles now it sounds pretty good it sounds better than I would have thought I'm not gonna lie it's 
it's not bad. So, so far the only issue we're running into is basically the car may throw emissions code with this new setup. Just for some reason the combination of the wide pipe that I have and the full exhaust. There's some sensor in there that just thinks the fuel readings are really off, but other than that, motor, everything is pretty healthy. louder dude the r32 when it was here or this <laughs> that whole entire time just the drug on it we were just all looking at each other and they're like <laughs> just the amount of pops yeah <laughs> a wizard has cast his z spill on my car this is a good time for me to say that if you guys are watching the forza z vlog you guys will know that i'm giving away xbox game pass codes in partnership with microsoft and xbox so right here on the screen is a free xbox game pass code you guys can go play Forza Motorsport, Forza Horizon 4, any of that on Game Pass. If you want to know what the RA replacement is, and that's exactly what I'm gonna replace the RA with. Trying to see if I can squeeze by. Oh, yeah, my boy, he's still repping. So, 253 with a max torque. Of 247, almost neck and neck. Power is probably a lot lower than most people would expect from a 350, but that's because I have a 2004 DE motor. Later generations, the 2008 HR motor is known to make quite a lot more power than that. So stock, my car should have dyno tuned around like 223. So with everything we did, we only got up to 253. I mean, it's kind of a joke if you ask me. We put in like crazy expensive headers, thousand dollar manifold intakes, all of that stuff just to barely creep 30 more horsepower out of the car. Yeah, uh, if you want nice power, 350Z, not the way to go, but I think we have improved the sound throughout a good margin. So that is the solid dub I'll take away from today. Everyone would probably say, Jack, why don't you supercharge or turbo it? Well, supercharge will probably cost you around $12,000 in order to do it all completely correct and reliable long-term. That should get you up a whole nother 100 horsepower. And then obviously you can turbocharge, which would probably cost like $15,000 to do it all correct and reliably. And that'll get you definitely well over a uh, hundred more horsepower. Overall conclusion, uh, don't buy Z's if you want to go like crazy, crazy fast on a cheap budget. Get like a SR20 or something with a 1JZ or a 2JZ because those motors are a lot easier to get good power out of. 253. 253? It's gotta be like the most expensive 30 horsepower <laughs> to get out of any car. At least it sounds good. I know, it sounds better. I'll, I'll take a dub on that. The majority of the reason why my car actually now sounds better than before is due to my PPE headers, long tube headers that we have on the car. Huge shout out to them because they supported this build and they are providing the headers that we now have on us. I think, honestly, it's a solid improvement and this is probably the best I could make my VQ35 engine, my NAV6 sound on this car. Yeah, it's always going to be trumpety. This is really rare to see here in the States. We have a full veil side kit, FD RX-7. Yes, the Han Tokyo drift car. And uh, a bright blue. I really love the way this car is done, honestly. And then we have my, my little, you know, Forza thing without the bumper. Well, at least startup, it sounds the same as before. Come on! Yo, shit. Don't disrespect my beautiful max 253 horsepower dyno graph. So do you fit in this one? No. Oh. All right, well, time to sell the car. <laughs> 1.5 diff. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. It definitely feels... Times more responsive. It's more responsive than the teacher 
suck up in class, dude. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, never in my life have I had any car that's that response. I'm barely tapping. What the hell? It even sounds better from in here. It honestly, it sounds. It's weird because the setup has to be louder than before. It just has to. It's yep. literally got headers. It's a single exit. Before it was a dual exit with the Nismo exhaust. So it has to be louder, but in a way, it like is quieter from the inside. Dude, we might have failed on power output, but I think we got a solid dub on making a VQ sound decent. It doesn't matter how quick the zero to 60 is, like even if it's like a high number, this thing, the way that it's so responsive as far as when I first mash the throttle, it just sets your head back so far so it makes it feel really fast. All camera jokes aside, this thing is... This is actually really freaking sick. <laughs> we figured out why the exhaust wasn't as loud as we thought when we were going on a test run because they still put the silencer in it. This diameter should be the full length of the entire pipe here, not just this tiny little hole. This whole thing is a silencer, so they must have put that on after they just tuned it just now for our test run so that it wouldn't sound ear-piercingly loud. But I don't know, what do you guys think? I guess, should we take it off and give you some raw sound clips of my header straight pipe dump setup? <laughs> my dyno graph sheet it reads out the maximum power that my car put out today what's your guess on what it is i don't know like around the focus give me a number 340 you're about 100 off 253 oh that was really optimistic yeah 